food. Not all of that fun food that I like to eat, but one of my go-to, I'll call it healthy diet foods, is one that you make into meatballs, and we can freeze them for snacks or for meals, and it makes it so easy to go to a healthy food when you've got it already prepared. So what we're doing today is preparing enough food for several meals or several snacks. And the serving size will be like one inch turkey meatballs, and they're vegetable turkey meatballs. And the, the one serving size is 12 of those meatballs, and it's only 110 calories. So these really are a healthy food, and if you're on a diet, uh, especially a keto type diet, these will really work well for you. So let me start showing you how to make this healthy turkey meatballs. Let's start by chopping up our fresh vegetables. And I'm, I've brought out a big bowl, see it there, a big bowl. And I'm going to put those vegetables into that bowl as I chop them. The first I'm going to work on is my celery. Okay, I want a half a cup of very finely chopped celery. And a food processor might do a better job of this, but let's give it a try this way first and see how we do it. There's something therapeutic about chopping foods. I find it very calming, and that's why I tend not to choose to use my food processor many times. I started out with that thought today. I'm like, no, I need to calm myself down a little. So let's do our own chopping so we can get some peacefulness out of it. So there we have it, finely chopped or minced. And that's a little more than a half a cup, but I'm gonna let it be okay. <laughs> now let's work on our peppers. I'm using a poblano pepper. It has a little more flavor. Um, actually, I don't need to, but it has a little more flavor, a little kick to it than a bell pepper. But you can choose to use a bell pepper if you prefer. Again, we're going to want this. <laughs> Hello, Darby. Darby decided to wake up and join us. Okay, let's finally chop these like we did our celery. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So let's put that in our big bowl. Okay, let's do our green onions. Now we should have four green onions that we're going to mince. However, I only have about two. So my meatballs aren't gonna be as good as yours. But let's go through the process of mincing these green onions.
Okay, that's got it. <laughs> Maybe we should go check on Darby. I'm going to put these in the bowl. Darby, is everything okay? Is everything okay, Darby? Yes, you fixed the problem. Okay, good boy. Thank you so much for being such a good protective dog. Yes. Now let's work on our parsley. I've got enough for probably more than a fourth a cup, which is what we need. So, I am not going to use the stems in this case, for the most part. I'm just going to use the leaves. So, move those out of the picture. And let's mince up this parsley. Prefer to use the flat leaf parsley. Works a lot better. As I've said earlier, we could be using a food processor to do this. The hand method is more exact and it's a very good method for calming yourself. Okay, our parsley is ready. Let's put that in our big bowl. Now it's time to cut on our spinach. We want four cups of fresh spinach. Uh, you can get the baby spinach. And let's start our chopping process on that. Again, you could use a food processor. These meatballs are so healthy, and they're tasty. What more can you ask for? Okay, that's got it. Let's put our spinach into our big bowl. Okay, so I've got my big bowl of our healthy parsley, spinach, green onions, celery, and poblano peppers. And next what we're gonna do is put a half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now I always use freshly grated because when you buy the pre-grated, they put some preservatives in them, and I prefer to avoid the preservatives. And next we want some mild green chilies that have been chopped and have been drained. I've got two four ounce cans. I think there is a can that comes in about seven and a half ounces or seven ounces, so whichever you get access to. This is going to be really tasty. Turkey really doesn't have that much flavor, so all of these chilies and vegetables are going to give this turkey meatball a lot of great flavor, as well as making it healthy. 
Okay, I'm going to move my bowl aside and I have some beans. Whoops, they're jumping beans. <laughs> anyway, um, I took about a half a can, actually a little more than a half a can of um, mixed beans. I've got pinto, kidney beans, and what are these other beans? Black beans, I guess, yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a potato masher and mash these up. Now, if you'll notice, we have not put any gluten into our recipe. So this is gluten-free, which will make some folks very happy. Again, you could use a food processor for this. <laughs> I guess I'm just old-fashioned and prefer the old-fashioned way, even though I do have a couple of food processors. to our big bowl. we want to do is take tomato paste and add about three tablespoons of tomato paste. And mine's going to have a little bit more because I'm just going to empty this jar. Tell why I never bake anything because I'm not scientific. Just kind of wing it. There we go. Okay, I want a teaspoon of cumin. you could use, uh, these are brags, you could use soy sauce, uh, this is a replacement for soy sauce, and let's see, let's put two tablespoons in, that was two, oh, I almost forgot one thing, my sriracha sauce, and I'm going to put two teaspoons in, could put more in if you like your foods hot. And of course, let's not forget our one pound of freshly ground turkey. Now, the turkey I'm using is 93% lean, so it is not going to have much fat in it. There we go. Okay. Let's stir this up. So we've got all of our ingredients in. That looks well stirred to me. Okay, so we've got our healthy 
turkey, meatball ingredients all mixed up in our big bowl. What we want to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees. We also then need to prepare a baking dish, um, one with sides to it because these will create quite a liquid. And I put parchment paper down, I spray a little oil to hold it in place, and we're going to make our meatballs and lay them on this. Let me start my oven. I don't know if it's me or the oven, but we weren't getting anywhere. Okay, so my hands are clean and I'm going to just dip them in here and make up little meatballs. Oh, one of the things that's a helpful hint is to wet your hand before doing this, but I didn't. And so I'm just going to make into meatballs. Actually, I want these to turn out to be about an inch once they're cooked. So let's make them a little larger than an inch. One of the things that I, oh, there's a bean that didn't get squished, I'll just squish it right now. One of the things that I like to do is the juices that are produced from the meatballs is I pour that off and save it as a broth for later use. Okay, so you don't need to watch me make all these meatballs. So why don't you go and do something fun while I work at this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got the meatballs all ready and they're ready to go into the oven. So, let's put these in the oven. We'll check them at 25 minutes. Um, you might want to use a temperature gauge to see if they've reached 165 degrees in the center. But uh, 25 to 35 minutes, they should be uh, cooked well. And there might, might be a lot of juices. Uh, you might want to check in between so you can pour off some of those juices. But like I said before, save those juices and use them as a broth. Okay, let's put them in the oven. Okay, my meatballs were done. I checked the temperature, internal temperature. And it came to 165 Fahrenheit. And, and so I did check the internal temperature. One thing I'm sorry I forgot to do was to tell you to turn these over midway. So that would have been about 15 minutes or so. I did not turn mine over. I didn't even think about it. So mine are a little flat sided, so they're not round meatballs, but there's no harm done. They just don't look like round meatballs. So what you want to do is let them cool and if you're planning on using them tonight, go on and use them while they're warm. I do plan on using mine tonight. I've fixed me a nice green salad, and I am going to put me a couple of these on top. Make my salad complete. The other thing is I ended up making my meatballs a little big. So a serving size is probably gonna be more like six. I'm gonna have five on my salad. And I've got romaine lettuce. Um, Let's see, what else do I have in here? Radishes, cucumbers, celery, and sugar snap peas, yes. And I'm going to put some feta cheese on there. Oh, let me hold up all of my dressing on first. I made me a mustard vinaigrette dressing with olive oil, white wine vinegar, garlic powder, mustard, put fennel seeds in, and oregano. I just kind of create as I go. And so let's put some of that on. My dinner's going to be yummy tonight. And now then let's put our feta cheese on top. Okay. So the other thing I want to tell you about is I use these snapware storage containers. You might have seen me using them just when I cut up ingredients and set them aside. But um, these are so nice because they seal 
and you have no spills if you're storing a liquid. Um, they are BPA free and you can put them in the freezer, you can put them in the microwave, you can put them in the oven, not the lids, but um, the dishwasher, they're dishwasher safe. But anyway, so what I end up doing is I put my meatballs in these and then I can take out one of these little containers and easily have me a quick, healthy meal. And so that's what's so ideal about this recipe is the benefits you have with being able to have quickly have a healthy meal. You can prepare all of this ahead of time when you have the free time. And then when you're running late, rather than grabbing junk food, you can come home and pull this out of the freezer, pop it in the microwave, and it is voila ready. So I really think you're gonna love this recipe and find yourself making these all the time. So here's the close-up of my salad with all of the yummy ingredients. And then here's some meatballs on the tray. And I did not get as many juices this time as I usually do. So I really have no juices to save. And then here's my storage container. And I've put me six meatballs in a good meal size that I'll save so I can have a healthy meal gluten-free it works for a keto diet and it works for just anybody who wants a quick healthy meal so I really suggest you give this a try and you know you can change the ingredients around there's some ingredients you don't care for but for the most part you can make this easily. You can cut down on the prep time by using a food processor. You don't have to be like me where I have to cut everything in by hand, but a food processor would chop those vegetables just as fine as could be. So anyway, I hope you try this recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye now.